I've often wondered where the name Californian Bungalow has come from. Apparently an architect in San Francisco designed the first one in 1890, which was influenced by the local art movement at the time. Australians started to copy this style in the early 1900s, just like this one behind me. Let's go and have a look. Between 1915 and 1940, the bungalow was a popular style of architecture both throughout metropolitan and regional New South Wales. This style can almost instantly be recognised by the columns holding up the front veranda area. Stone brick and timber materials were used with exposed external rafters. Quite often the fence would be brick with a steel tube rail. The Californian bungalow is probably one of the most common architectural styles dotted throughout the Orange CBD. The vast majority of these properties have been renovated to adapt to a modern lifestyle. You can find similar architecture on numerous streets of Orange from the main street and scattered throughout Mulder, McLaughlin, Kite and Clinton streets. There was a restrained decorative element with timber shingles and battens, heavy brick piers and short timber columns. Stained and lead glass was often used for windows and cabinet doors. Artesian light fixtures were also common. Bungalow exteriors tend to be wood shingle combined with brick or stone. Wood was commonly used for flooring, chair rails and geometric ceiling patterns. Bungalows have a simple living room with the focal point being the fireplace and a smaller kitchen. The living room often had a broad opening into the dining room. Built-in furniture such as sideboards, bookshelves and window seats were commonly used throughout the house. I hope this has given you an insight into the Californian bungalow and hope to see you soon on One City, One Story.